Today for my watercolor video, I am doing something a little bit different. I am going to do kind of a reverse or negative image uh, using frisking liquid uh, that comes in a pen. And uh, you could use uh, frisking liquid that comes in a jar, uh, sometimes with a brush, but to get the really fine detail, um, it's good to have a pen. This one's kind of dried up, but I had a, another one. Um, and if you can see in the lid how it comes with that little poker, that's to uh, keep it from getting stopped up. Um, so I am kind of just doing a little craft, like arts and crafty type uh, quick uh, drawing here just to kind of play around and just uh, because it was the first day I had seen fireflies and I don't know um, some areas of the world they don't have fireflies even some areas of the USA but uh, here in Chicago um, this day that I made this video I saw a bunch of fireflies so that's what inspired this um, so I thought I would do a black and white painting and then I was going to try and I probably would have worked better with watercolor. I ended up using India ink, but I was going to try to make a little glow around the little lights on their tails. But uh, the India ink that I use, I like the dramatic ink. Uh, contrast it gives as far as being really dark but uh, it's also so permanently staining that when I tried to add some drops of water to uh, release the paint around the to and create kind of a glow around their light um, it was already too set in the paper so it didn't really give quite the effect I was going for but I was still happy with the result. So we need to let this totally dry uh, before we remove it. So I think I actually wait until the next day. Um, I also wanted to do this video in the daylight. It just seems to, when I work at night, sometimes I just have to do these paintings at night, but especially with the watercolor one, um, just with the indoor lighting it, it looks the paper looks very yellow <laughs> so I like to do it in the cooler day daylight all right here's where I was trying to just add drops of water and you can see it the ink doesn't want to budge at all so now I'm gonna try dabbing it that helped a little bit uh, like I said though I do really like the way the ink and this is black India ink which has been around for centuries um, I think it's made from like carbon or maybe like in the old days I'm not sure if it's still made of carbon um, but yeah um, so it you can kind of see a little bit of the splattering it was able to make and I, I'm literally trying to dab now uh, getting a little physical with the piece. And I'm using a hot press watercolor paper. That's why the outside edges of the brush strokes are so smooth is because there's no texture to this paper, no tooth. It's very smooth. And it just started raining outside. I was outside earlier and saw a few fireflies. All right, now we're gonna. Um, I try to write my name in here. It just doesn't show up. Um, so we need to let this completely dry before we move the, remove the frisket. And this is something that, uh, by experience, I've gotten a little too gung ho before and in a hurry. But you just need to take your sweet time. It can be kind of a therapeutic thing to do. Uh, I think I kind of like it. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, just make sure that it's completely dry. Um, 
and don't go too gung ho because you've I've accidentally ripped the paper by pulling too fast and too hard. And yeah, it just takes patience. Uh, as you can see, the thicker areas, I had to kind of do several layers of peeling off. But I do really like the contrast. It kind of looks like a print to me, like a block print or something, except it's not. It's painted. And even though this was kind of, like I said, kind of crafty looking, uh, you could definitely do like a fade, I mean, a, whatever you want. Um, if you like this look, it just takes the India ink and your watercolor paper and some frisket. And mine is a fine line frisket that comes in a tube. I think I got it at Blick Art Supply. Yeah, and I haven't put fireflies in a jar since I was a kid, but it's just a fun memory and a fond memory for me. I do like, um, besides the black and white contrast of this, I like kind of the, uh, you can see the watermarks of where uh, it, it does have a little subtle, it's not quite the effect I was going for, but um, it does have some subtle glowing effect to it. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Thank you, and until next week, happy painting.